alveolar soft part sarcoma is a soft tissue sarcoma which usually affects young patients. On low magnification we typically see some fibrous septi which divide the tumor into the nodules or compartments. On higher magnification we can see that the tumor has very typical histological appearance. It is typically described as pseudo-alveolar arrangement. The tumor is composed of these tightly packed cellular nests. Around these nests we can find some thin fibrovascular septi and we can typically see discohesion of the legional cells inside of these nests, typically in the center of these nests. And that creates so-called pseudo-alveolar pattern. It looks like we are looking at some alveoli, but that is just because of discohesion of the cells. Uh, there are no true luminal formation or glandular formation here. Uh, at the periphery of these nests, it looks like these cells are usually attached to one another and uh, these cells attached to these fibrovascular septi. So it looks like we have the lining of something that looks like um, alveoli, but uh, it is, um, it is only the discohesion that creates uh, this appearance. The cells are usually quite large. They have voluminous, uh, slightly eosinophilic granular cytoplasm. The cytoplasmic borders are usually very clear and distinct. The nuclei are typically round to oval shaped with um, vesicular or, or clear chromatin and typically one centrally located prominent nucleolus. So if you pay closer attention, you can find one single central nucleolus in all of these legional cells. Cytoplasm can be sometimes clear or vacuolated, but it is usually um, eosinophilic and granular. In some areas, the discohesion can be less prominent, and some of these tumors are associated with solid type of growth, which is uh, more common among uh, younger children. And still here, pay attention to these very prominent uh, centrally located nuclei in these um, in the cells, uh, nucleoli uh, inside of the nuclei. In some other areas, we can sometimes find these elongated to spindle-shaped uh, nuclei. It is not uncommon to find these intracytoplasmic crystals. They are not very prominent here, but uh, these crystal formations would be positive in PAS stain, and in PAS they uh, they would be more visible. Some of the nuclei can be irregular or atypical, but we uh, usually not see very prominent mitotic activity. Well, mitotic, mitotic figures are there, but uh, they are not very numerous. And also most of the tumors are not associated with necrosis. Um, alveolar soft part sarcoma is a slow growing tumor. However, it can be associated with uh, hematogenous metastasis quite, uh, quite early and uh, therefore prognosis is quite poor. Most of these tumors uh, have uh, some proximity uh, to the skeletal muscles and it was hypothesized that uh, the skeletal muscle is, um, is the cell of the origin for this tumor. Practically all of the cases of ASPS are associated with uh, characteristic fusion gene, uh, which is the fusion of ASPL and TFE3. Uh, and these two genes are uh, in the chromosome X and chromosome 17, so translocation X17 uh, is characteristic. The tumor typically affects adolescents um, and young adults. However, it can also be seen among younger children. As for localization, the head and neck area is more common among younger, younger children, and uh, the other sites are more common among adolescents. The typical sites include the eyelid, the buttock or the tongue. The treatment is a surgical excision with uh, wide margins or at least as wide as possible um, for a given localization. However, the tumor is characteristic, uh, characteristically resistant to conventional chemotherapy. Alright, so this is alveolar soft parts sarcoma. Thank you for watching.